This was me two years ago. Mm, wow! Ah. <laughs> and this is me a year ago. Ah. This is me two days ago. Yee. Yeah! Ooh, that was it! <laughs> I'm so afraid for this one. Yep, I'm back. And my foot has gotten worse. After my last visit with Max, I thought I wouldn't need to come back. But as you can see, my flat feet have gotten, well, flatter. I've suffered with flat feet all my life. It caused me many problems such as spinal deviation, muscle imbalances, as well as it affecting my posture. In the past two years, I've made efforts to help fix the problem, but it's not gotten better. So I reached out to Max to see what we can do to fix it once and for all. If you like videos like these where I do treatments on my body and can relate to the pain and you learn something from it, please do hit the video with a gentle thumbs up. It supports the channel. Subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I upload a new video. Let's get started. It's been exactly two years since I've seen Max and Max has been the genius behind keeping my body up to scratch, especially between the boxings that Max introduced me to and he's helped me out tremendously with my feet. That being said, the honest truth is because I haven't been taking care of it, it has gotten worse. So I'm here to see Max today. He's gonna sort me out with my flat feet. I'll tell you guys what's happened in between and I feel like you guys will find this interesting. Max, as you can see, has tremendous experience, the best person and I've ever worked with. So you'll also be able to learn about the treatments he's doing here, how that applies for the different parts of the body. Because you guys liked these videos so much before, hit it with a gentle thumbs up. Max's information, I'm gonna put all of his info down in the description. So if you do wanna reach out to him, if you're in Cape Town, especially at the Waterfront Physiotherapy Clinic, incredible people, you have to put all the information in the description, but without further ado. We we know that Mike has flat feet, so I've done the assessment, we've seen everything that we need to see. So we're sort of just jumping straight into the treatment rather than doing a whole assessment at the beginning just because he is a follow-up. So we know we know what we're dealing with. Right. Max, from your first look, does it look worse than before? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> just just a little bit, not not okay. too bad. Well, what will be interesting is if you go back and look at the first video. You'll right. be able to see it's not like drastically different. Right. It is a little bit worse. I mean you can even feel here this is like more calloused. Yeah. than it was before. Is it okay if I, if I sit up yeah, like this? Yeah, cool. So what I was telling Max as well is that I'm getting blisters on this area of my foot now. That, that to me is like has never happened before. So I do feel like it is an indication that I've not been taking care of it. Yeah, so what we're doing now is just uh, working on the plantar fascia. Mm -hmm. So as you guys will know from the previous videos, plantar fascia is a thick fascia that runs pretty much from your heel all the way up into your toes. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna try work that out, try loosen that up a little bit. Oh man, I just got flashbacks. <laughs> ah, bro! Depending on how Mike's foot reacts, we might do a couple of needles in there, but we'll sort of see as, as the session goes on. Don't wanna do anything we don't need to do. We're gonna uh, pop some needles in, in Mike's foot. Um, so the muscle we're putting it in, as you can see here, is a ductor halysis. Um, so this muscle, the reason that this would be tight, so it could be compensating for Mike's flat foot. Um, so then what the needles is basically gonna do in very layman's terms, I feel around for a trigger point, pop that needle straight into the trigger point, move it around a bit, try get a twitch out of the muscle, a twitch response. Basically when, we, when the needle goes in, it's gonna bring all the inflammatory properties, stuff like that into the area, which then helps the, the muscle relax and just heal a little bit more. Uh, not heal, just relax a little bit more. So we're gonna be using the 40 mil needles, as you can see there. So it's the 0 0.35 is the thickness of the lead needle and the 40 is the length of the needle. This is the biggest needle we use here. So it's a 75 mil needle, so it's quite long. And now we search. So, I mean, if you can feel that in there, mm -hmm. you feel that sort of jumping across, so that's a trigger point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's where we're gonna insert our first needle. So one, two, three. So the needle's in now. And now we search. Well, we might get a little bit of a twitch. You okay, Mike? Yep. So you feel that twitch? I do. Mm -hmm. So um, you might see it on the camera. Okay, that's no, it's too small. Ooh! Oh, I felt that. Oh. <laughs> that is got some so, nice twitches there. That that is so weird. That is so Ooh. weird. <laughs> Mike, have you been doing those um, big toe abduction abductions? No. no, no. Okay, you need to start doing those. I I do. You, I'll whatever you tell me to get after this, I will get. Cool. Because it's it's getting worse now, and I need to take it a bit more seriously. That's weird. That is like jumping like that. Yeah. 
It's, it's like you can, can you see, see it. it. You can see it. Oh my days! So that's a twitch response we're looking for. It is. Do you guys see it? Can you catch it twitching? We can. Should should be able to. Yeah. Ah, that is so. That is so cool. We once we put the needle in. So I will get two twitches as I'm moving the needle in and out, and then the muscle stops. But in the foot, it's not weird for it to carry on jumping. So what I'm doing here when I'm so this is called palpating, so sort of feeding the tissue. I'm just trying to find that trigger point, the exact place I want to put the needle. Yeah, I feel that there. Uh huh. Okay, one, two, three. Ah! I thought that one happened. Stingy your ear. It was a bit of sting. It was a bit of sting. Okay. One, two, three. Feel that jump. Yeah, I did. You okay, Ooh, Mike? Yeah, I felt that one. Achy or stingy? Uh, achy, achy, yeah, right there. Ah, oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. There, 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 yeah. You feel those twitches, eh? Yeah. So, I don't know if you saw on the camera there, but when this one twitched, this one twitched. So, same muscle, which is quite cool. That is very cool. Yeah. Because, I mean, this is sort of up to you. What, what we could do, which is just a creepy one, is we can do face needles. But that's like if you okay with that. So like we would needle, we would needle in here. So in temporalis. Uh -huh. Oh wow. So in temporalis here, and we would needle in masseter. Yeah. Oh so wow. So this one's quite creepy because it's a, so it's a, a bigger needle, but the reason it's okay is because we have this fossa underneath. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So it literally can just hit your bone, the, the needle. So there's no damage it can do. It's not the most dangerous place would be to needle like here, uh -huh, up in here, because uh -huh. obviously your lungs here. So if I put a needle in here without the correct technique, I puncture your lung. Yeah. Whereas here, there's no risk. If that needle's in, and I tell you to clench your jaw, the needle goes, moves with the muscle, which is just creepy. And same with the jaw, obviously. Yeah. So I think it'll be interesting. I mean, I'm, I'm a, I'm a man. It's twitching. This is twitching, dude. I feel it the whole time. It is bizarre. Response. Mm -hmm. So are we gonna take them out now? Yeah. My dear. You're a guest. Or that you you particularly don't like, and I just emailed them. Finally, this is the problem. I just, I just remembered. A little bit sore on this side. Yeah, this is this is yeah, yeah. You feel that jump? Ooh! Ooh! Ha! Ah! I felt it. It <laughs> all. Yeah, I think this one, this one with the needles is gonna be interesting. Which is normal because that's on the ground. So it's like the whole bottom, sorry, like the whole bottom of your foot is callous. This is in contact the whole time. Right. It's going to start callousing as well. Gotcha. Ooh, that feels really good. Mm. Cause I, I got a lot of people in the past. He's acting, he's acting. No, I feel, I feel what I feel. When I'm reacting, is how I'm feeling. Yeah, man, that that spot, right? Yes. Mmm. I know that's gonna be so good for me. Ooh, I feel that. That is. Yeah, that's another spot. This is we nearing the origin of it, right? Mmm. Ooh, ooh, yeah! <laughs> the way I deal with any pain, emotional and physical, is I laugh. Or I like, if I'm ever in an awkward situation with a person, I like laugh at it. Yeah. Like, my wife won't watch um, sad movies with me because I make a joke out of everything. <laughs> oh, I'm so afraid for this one. I'm gonna try go in between this time. Um, even my um, my baby toe was twitching there. Oh, that was so weird to see. <laughs> it was like icky, 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 icky. Feel that twitch here? Huh? Yeah, yeah, I feel that. Ooh, that was it. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> that is so bizarre because you feel it throughout your whole body. It's just like, it's, I don't 
know how to describe it, man. It feels weird, but it's exciting. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. One, two, three. Oh yeah, it, it 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 jumped, it jumped, but it's yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Stingy or it's stingy, it's stingy, it's stingy. Now it's stingy. Now it's fine. Now it's fine. Let me know if it's stingy. Now it's an egg. Yeah. Okay. 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 You okay? Yeah. I'm lost for words. I I I like it. I really do like it. You see like that one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It doesn't leak at all. Okay, Mike, we're gonna do a couple of exercises. Okay, perfect. Let's so, so this one, so what a good one to do is say a band or a band like this mm -hmm. around the knees, and immediately when you try squat, is trying to put that outside that lateral pressure onto right. the band because immediately it's gonna give you an arch. So, if we do it on your foot, and this will take away quite a lot of pain for people who get pain with squatting the flat foot. Like you can see, it's like completely flat right now. Okay, so Mike, so if you go feet hip distance apart, uh, feet nice and straight for me. Perfect. And then all I want you to do is put lateral pressure on the band. Mm -hmm. So you see it immediately. Yeah, 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 yeah I feel that. Do you see? So lateral pressure and then you can do a, a squat for me. Oh, that, that's actually really yeah. neat. But I see how the mechanics for that works. Yeah, yeah. properly drive your knees out. So you see how that arch yeah. just appears. Yeah. It makes an arch which can take pressure off people's mm -hmm. feet, for mm -hmm. people who struggle with pain. I like that actually, I really do. But I think this is also a healthy exercise for a lot of people who have their knees caving in. Mm -hmm. If you want to also activate glute meat. So I'm driving my knees out and that happens. So literally just, even if you just stand, and literally just do the motion of driving your knees out. Yep. That's going to lift up that arch, mm -hmm. which takes pressure off that foot. Yep. Yeah. So all those exercises are basically just, um, uh, trying to strengthen all those intrinsic muscles in the foot, which is going to help support that arch. So help uh, pull that uh, plant fashion a little bit tighter, which will create that arch a little bit. So just support the foot a little bit more. So if someone has a, uh, quite a severe flat foot, mm -hmm. they often will have what we call, uh, in layman's terms, like more knock knee stance. Mm -hmm. So just because which of I this, have, yeah. yeah. So Mike's like a perfect example of that. So, so with the feet being collapsed like this, you're going to get this more knock knee. Then you get this bigger angle from your femur down into your pelvis, which can misalign your pelvis. Once your pelvis is misaligned, uh, your spine can uh, get a little bit sore from that, especially lower back. You'll see a lot of people with hip issues mm. with lower back issues. Mm. So, I mean, we already know he's got this knock need mm -hmm. sort of stance. My thumbs are here on the front of his uh, pelvis, so his asus, and my thumbs here at the back of his pelvis. And as you can see, that left side is slightly raised compared mm -hmm. to the right side. And you can even see that from sort of his lats here. He's on a slight bend here, so a slight more crunch on his lats here, mm -hmm. slightly more elongated this side. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a curve in a thoracic spine, but not, not too much. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that it was educational. I hope you guys also got to see just the overall progression, because I know a lot of people have wanted to know how my feet progressed. It's been two years since I've been here, and as you can see, I haven't taken care of it, and I'll be open and honest about that, but I need to improve that, which I will. And yeah, I'll leave the video here. If you do want more of these videos in terms of recovery, doing different muscles, or the needles in the face, hit with a gentle thumbs up, and subscribe if you're new. Max is a legend. I am going to put all of his info in the description below. If you're in Cape Town, Max is the person to see at the Waterfront Physiotherapy Clinic, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.